Hey everybody, it is Jason here from the Mac and Tech community. And tonight, I'm going to do another podcast. Well, actually, we just did two podcasts before this. This is the third podcast. It's somewhat to do with Windows 7. And I think by the time you watch all my videos about Windows 7, you'll probably find out that I am absolutely crazy and wacko and nuts for it. Totally, like awesome operating system but I wanted to bring something up to in perspective with multiple monitor support yes we have had multiple monitor support since Windows 98 Windows 2000 officially supported it for sure like completely and yes a lot of people are going with dual or multiple monitors dual same thing so I'll also talk about some concept ideas as well that people would like to see with Windows 7. Now I'd like to know, I use a program called Ultramon. It doesn't work in Windows 7. Not at all. It's really buggy. Vista and below. Because I like having my taskbar on every monitor. So if I have a window on my second monitor, it shows up on the taskbar on the second monitor, etc. I'd like to know why Windows, or Microsoft I should say, not Windows, well, why isn't available in Windows? Why did Microsoft implement that? Why do I have to use third-party software to do that? Ultramon also allows you to have a different screensaver for your different monitors, as well as different wallpapers for your different monitors. Why did Windows, there I go again, why didn't Microsoft put that into Windows to begin with? It would make things a lot easier more I organized and I think a lot better because who wants to see the same thing across the desktop you can have different pictures on different desktops different screensavers taskbar all the way across for, so you know you don't have to be like your taskbars on your main screen that have you know all the applications scattered all over any other screens I think this would be a great time for Microsoft as they're coming out with probably one of the best operating systems yet, Windows 7, to actually input this feature for the retail version with the final release. Right now it's a beta build 7000. I think there's time, this is, you know, this is time. This is the time. Seriously, the time to implement that feature so you don't need to use third party software because Ultramon isn't free. Be able to have your taskbar across all your monitors. I know that some um, like NVIDIA and the graphics drivers and whatnot allows you to do that in it but I'm saying built into Windows no drivers no third-party software just built into it allowing you to do this we already have multiple monitor support obviously but having to be able to have you know different pictures and different screensavers and stuff yes I have probably said it about two or three times already but if Microsoft does watch this video definitely a great feature to put in better multiple monitor support. I've been also asking in the chat room what they wanted to see um, in Windows 7 that they haven't seen in previous versions of Windows. And uh, some people are talking about, you know, better screensavers. Right now with the Build 7000, it just has the Vista screensavers and that stuff and the Vista sounds. People want to see more options with configuring the taskbar. Um, someone also said uh, possibility of workspace or work workspaces workspace desktops like in Linux if you have one monitor you can have virtual screens that you can flip through one to another so you don't really need all these monitors or whatnot even though that's nice how that ability you know would be cool and um, better widgets yeah I've seen the widgets I think the widgets could use a little bit more work especially the fact when you have a widget this is, I haven't tried this in Windows 7, but I'm going to do it, and then I'll let you know how it works. Windows Vista, if you had a widget on, what would happen is it would actually start using CPU usage, 5 to 10 percent, even on my laptop. Now, when I close the widgets and don't have any widgets open at all on my desktop with Vista, the idle time was nothing. It was, um zero pretty much idle but with the widgets open it was actually using CPU usage 
Now, I hope they fix that in Windows 7, and if not, please fix it for the retail version. Okay? Because they're widgets. Why do widgets take, see, like, usage? I never got that. It's just like, it's just as bad as why does Firefox eat up a lot of RAM? Tried Windows Explorer, Windows Internet Explorer 8. It looks pretty good or whatnot, but I'm kind of hooked on Firefox, so I don't know how how far I will get into using Internet Explorer. I probably will never be hooked on it again. Anyways, yeah. So that's all I wanted to share. You know, better multiple monitor support and multiple taskbars on all your screens and stuff for those windows. Multiple pictures on all your desktops instead of just one multiple screen savers. So obviously, totally, definitely better multi-monitor support. Um, maybe virtual desktops or workspaces. That would be great. Better widgets, better screen savers. I'm sure Microsoft can come up with some creative stuff. Or you've got like lots of money. Why don't you hire people or pay another company to make you more screen savers and stuff? I am liking the themes though in Windows 7. It's pretty interesting and stuff. Really have to say, I'm not like, I'm complaining about little things, but I do like the operating system. The operating system is pretty awesome, and if you haven't had a chance yet, download the beta, build 7,000 on the Microsoft site at this point in time, when this podcast was made. Try it out. Give it a try. Because a lot of people who are still on XP and haven't even tried Vista because of all the crap they heard about it, be like, oh, Windows 7 would be just as bad. Microsoft is never going to be any good anymore. That is total utter BS. Windows 7 is better than Vista. Okay, it might look kind of like it, like Windows Vista, but looks can be deceiving. I'm telling you. The WOW. <laughs> OMG. The WOW finally started. We'll chat at you later.